In this video, we are going to go over how to create a connection to a database. First thing we are going to do is create our connection to our database. Then we're going to create a query for that connection. And then we are going to add those database fields to the labeled template. So we have the software open. And we're going to want to go to Data Sources, Database, Create Edit Query. In this query definition window, we will want to click on new and go to the wizard. In this wizard, you see we have an option for multiple different connection types to an Excel, Access, SQL database, or Oracle database. And then we also have options for uh, generic OLE and ODBC drivers. So here I'm going to choose Excel and give this connection a name. Click on next. And here is where we browse to the location of that database file. I recommend that you always test your connection to ensure that you can connect to that database and then click Finish. This will take us back to the query definition window. So we will choose this drop down menu to select our data source. And you will choose the name that we gave the connection. Next, I will choose the table it's on and the fields that we want to bring over. You can highlight certain specific fields, or you can go over to the right and select them all using this middle button here. Next, we'll click OK, and we will save our query. Now we can use this saved query on other label templates if we want to keep the same information or you can go to this query definition window through the create edit query and create a different query using uh, different information. If you want to, such as if you wish to choose a different table to pull that information from, or if you want different field choices linked to that label template. Now that we have that connection created and we have selected that connection, we have to link items on our label template to that those items from coming from the database. Now, as you will see on the right hand side, I have my data sources window open on the right. To do this, I just went to view and chose data sources. So you can see a list of all the fields on the right hand side. And now what we can do is we can click on one of those items and drag them over. And then when we let go, we can choose how we want that information to display, such as text, this one here uh, as an image. Okay, we'll put a, another text field on there. And then this one, we will make a barcode. Let's just slide this up a little bit here. Okay. And as you can see, we can change the records, and it's going to change which row it is pulling its information from. In summary, we've created a connection to our database, created a query for that connection, and added those database fields to our label template. Thank you, and have a great day.